So, you want to get into manga. I am no professional. Just want to disclaim that real quick, you know, so my word is not law. But I always get asked a lot, hey, because, like, I'm really known for, you know, being into anime and manga. Where should I start with this? How do I get into this? So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how to get it into manga. It is very, it's very uh, hard to talk about this because there are obviously like tears, like people who are like on the fence about it, people who are really wanting to get into it, but I'm going to give you like a broad, broad um, perspective of how you should start. The best way, in my opinion, to start with manga is very simple. Go digital. Now, a lot of elitists will go go to you and be like, no, that makes no sense. You want to have the physical copies. Why are you suggesting digitals? Well, the thing is that it's a very expensive hobby. The moment you buy your first physical copy and you really enjoy it, you're going to want to be spending a lot of money just to keep up with the series and stuff like that. And it's kind of a good sample size just to go digital. Because, one, there's free ways to read up on stuff. Two, when you buy physical, you're already behind on a series the moment you start it because physicals are obviously behind because they're digital first. Three, you can actually find stuff that you would have never found if you just went physical or whatever. For example, uh, when I was reading um, digitally, Beauty and the Feast was something that I really, it really caught my eye. I was on like Twitter or something and then I just saw like a panel from this and was like, hmm what's this about and yeah like social media if you find like stuff you might get interested and be like hey what's that someone tells you check it out pretty easy but yeah digital is a good start everything's free if you you want to if you want to support stuff like viz has their own subscription service you can pay for stuff even they have latest chapters um on there for example when I was reading uh, digitally, I still do read digitally now. I'm reading Chojin X right now, which is the same uh, Ishida who made Tokyo Ghoul. And then I'm reading Undead Unlock. I have to catch up on that digitally. And then um, Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin. It's canceled now, but I was reading that on Viz's site. But yeah. Uh, and like I said, you can find things that you wouldn't find if you just went out and about. Because, for example, if you go on official sites, they like to promote stuff. So, for example, when I was reading uh, Dolphin and Undead Unluck, there was a big promotion uh, push for Blue Flag. Like, Viz was all over on that. Their site was just nothing but Blue Flag. Like, this first cover is what all I saw on the page. And I was like, hmm, I want to check that out. And then I found that at, like, a comic store for on sale. Found volume one. And I was like, you know what? gonna start it and it's actually been one of my favorites it's funny because like blue flag and beauty and the feast are like slice of lives and i believe these are the only slice of lives i currently have in my collection this is really small it's this and some stuff in the closet as well as the things right in front of me that i'm going to talk about but yeah those are the only like slice of life like cutesy things that i that i have i'll get into more of that stuff uh and again it's more like shoujo anime and stuff like that but yeah digital good first choice now you want to start physical where do i start find the manga for a series you already know about let's say you've seen an anime already and you really enjoyed it there's no sign of a season two or season two is taking forever gotta read that manga so for example when i finished hunter hunter i was like oh my god i eventually need to read this because you know anime doesn't complete it but it's a reading option, and now I'm starting to collect it. I currently have volumes one through three. Something you enjoyed as an as an anime, and you're like, I want more of it. Good, good choice. Also, you get the good benefits of a, of a manga is that it's the exact canon material. It is the appropriate timeline or whatever you want. You get more extra stuff that you don't see in the anime, and you know, stuff like that. But yeah. Um, also, physical is just nice to have. The moment you start getting physical is you just appreciate the art and stuff and having it in your hand which leads into the next topic get something that looks really good you art is probably like one of the main things you want to look at in a series because you're going to be staring into a page a lot and you want to like 
you would hope that the thing that you are reading looks really nice because you're staring at a bunch of stuff for a very long time. And for example, I wouldn't recommend it because it's a very adult series and it's very suggestive, but Gantz is really nice to look at as Omnibus 1. I can also go through omnibuses and single singles. For example, a uh, 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 I'll talk about Mob Psycho next, but phys uh, physicals they do omnibuses, which is a, usually like a three in one, and then just the singles are just one in one. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna collect the singles for Gantz because that's way too much. I'll get into a video about those prices soon. But yeah, Gantz is something that's really really beautiful to look at. Like I can't show you just in case like just art looks amazing and you're gonna be staring at these pages a lot and you want to make sure that the thing you're looking at is genuinely really nice to look at unless you have a series that doesn't look that great but the story is good and for that i bring up mob psycho and then kaiji these two mangas are genu generally words not really pretty in the case of kaiji it's a really old series mob psycho it's it doesn't look that great but then it has times to shine that it looks amazing but yeah that's how one worked but um the stories are great you want a really good story because again you're spending a lot of time and spending your money on reading things and you want generally for the things that you're reading to be you know good obviously and because you don't want to waste your money because again it is a topic of am i wasting it am i wasting my cash who knows but yeah um and like what i said with good art mob psycho um the same creator as one punch man uh i would have loved to collect the one punch man uh, physically but um i'm reading it digitally i need to get back on that it's been a while but yeah but one uh but mob psycho is created by one which is the creator of both series it's real it's a really fun read either or it's really fun not much to say there yeah now um let me introduce you to the world of shonen jump now shonen jump i talked about hunter hunter you're probably uh like a normal person would think oh he's gonna recommend one piece or maybe naruto i do collect naruto but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you naruto off right now I mean, he's probably gonna do like bleach or something like that like something very basic the thing with Shonen Jump is that it's very broad. You mainly think of like, oh, your Dragon Balls, stuff like that. But there are series that are actually like sleepers that you actually might like. And these aren't sleepers, but they're really fun reads. Jujutsu Kaisen and The Promised Neverland. This is very hard to find. I'm getting a stuff of Packaging Bright stuff soon. So hopefully that comes very fast i'm waiting on it because i am behind on a lot of it i only have like the first i have one through three and then i have volume zero very lucky for that but yeah and then with promise neverland it's my favorite manga that i'm current that i'm currently reading the new uh the last yeah voice crap the last volume comes out probably by the time this video has already been posted and hopefully i have that because i want to finish stuff the series like that I don't know what the ending is because I didn't read it digitally. I'm literally just keeping up physically. And yeah, I can't wait for that. But yeah, Shonen Jump, it's really good. You also get stuff like I said, um, Dolphin was on there. Undead Unluck was very niche when it first came out, but now it's being published on Barnes and Nobles and stuff like that. So you can find that physically. Yeah. So, um, last thing, or well, not the, the last type of things I would recommend is something called a box set box sets are usually a compilation of a couple of manga from the series in this case i have a sealed copy because the moment i read this i'm going to open it i have a sealed copy of a silent voice the box set it's all the mangas and then the thing about box sets is that if you're really into a series uh, when you get a box set they get something special so for example there is a notebook that pertains that to the series that is bundle in here i think like the naruto box sets have like posters and stuff like that uh bakuman i don't know what bakuman has but i want to get that box set soon um the akira box sets are, are gen generally well received i think it has like a special edition on there 
The Death Note has a special volume 13, which isn't actually a volume. It just, I think it's like little, it's like a little extra stuff, but yeah. Box sets are a really good way. You can find them cheaper too, if you look around. And that's what I'll talk about next. Websites. Where do you buy manga? Where, where should I start looking for them? I started in Amazon because Amazon is actually a good way to start off. One, it's really easy to look up series and see if they have it on there. There used to be a book publishing site, I believe. They had to do something with books. But yeah, that's where I like collected most of my um, Promised Neverland through Amazon. The thing is that it's very hit or miss with Amazon. Sometimes you'll get like an amazing condition and I have like all the Promised Neverland is down there. Generally, they've been really nice the way they package it. And then sometimes you get dud. Like I think my volume 13 is a little messed up on the spine, but yeah. Uh, go Amazon. Uh, go out to Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles is fun. Going the experience of going to a bookstore in general is actually really pleasing and it's very calming, and it's something I very enjoy. I live. I'm fortunate to live close enough to a Barnes and Nobles. So yeah, all the fun. Hey guys. Uh, the camera cut off. Audio wasn't great, but I'm gonna continue. Uh, I believe I mentioned Amazon and. I think I just mentioned Amazon before the camera cut off, but other sites you can use is Right Stuff. I really like using Right Stuff. The, uh, the thing with it though is a double-edged sword, in my opinion. Um, it's a lot of people's preferred way to get these um, mangas physically, but the thing is that um, for you guys to know why that's the case, um, the main thing on Right Stuff is that everything is discounted. Everything is already discounted, so you're paying less than what you would normally buy if you were to go out on Amazon or something like that. Ugh, my hair is messy. This is me edit this is me freaking editing the video and I just realized that it's all messed up. But yeah. Um the thing with right stuff though is that with right stuff, um it's more encouraged to buy multiples of something instead of just buying one or two volumes. For example, I was on the website a couple weeks ago and i currently it's not up here by the way it, you can tell that i have more manga because uh, the video unboxing haul whatever you want to call it is coming soon but yeah um the thing is that uh i think i it's not on it's in the closet but i'm collecting the Yu-Gi-Oh duelist manga and um i was putting everything on my wish list i accidentally put everything on the cart first but i was like i'm not gonna i just want to see the price it was like 55 bucks or something for all the ones that i, I was missing and they don't have all of them and then um i kept putting everything on my wish list and then i was on the last volume of manga that i was on the wish list and it was just one one thing on the cart um and then i looked it was i believe the volume was like 750 or 550 i forget because some of them are a little um different in price for for Yu-Gi-Oh. but one of them was that that price but if you were to ship it and everything it came out to like almost 13 dollars so the thing with right stuff is that it's really good, but um, one you should probably get uh, multiples of, a, of of manga if you're getting right stuff as your preferred choice, and two be very wary of what's in stock at right stuff. For example, all the stuff here, um, some of the stuff I ordered in March, so it's already July, and I just recently got them. I'm still missing one thing that I ordered in March which you all know in the uh, unboxing video. But yeah, if something's out of stock, um, be very wary that you're gonna wait a while for it. Um, I had to wait a while for, for some of these stuff, things. I had to wait for some of these things. And um, it is a long wait, I will say that. But if you're willing to wait for it, go ahead. I recommend like all the popular series that uh, are sold out at the, time, at the moment are very hard to find. Um, if you want to not, if you can wait for those things, which I highly recommend not doing like eBay and stuff like that for like Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, I think Blood on the Tracks is also very rare right now or something where it's like out of stock, things like that, order on right stuff and then just wait because it's better than just, again, buying these from third party people or second hand, second handed and then you're getting charged an arm or the leg. And then also, like I said, digital these popular series if you if you really want to get on them and they're not available just go digital it's way easier like i said in the beginning but yeah um i i've heard about alabiris i think that's what it's called um i have not used it yet i've looked around it seems all right 
um i'll probably wind up getting a couple things from there soon when i have the money and i want to try that one out next but i heard that's pretty good and then um again Barnes and nobles go to a local shop see what's in your area it's pretty easy just a simple google search and then you can call up shops that sell books and be like hey do you have manga and see what they got because again it's good out to just venture and see what they have maybe they have things you like maybe you'll find things that are something you wouldn't be interested in but you go to a place that's physically um there near your area look at the stuff you find something you like so yeah that'll be the end of the video again sorry that i had it got cut so yeah you see like a bunch of other things but that'll be in a, an upcoming video but i appreciate you for watching if you like what you like in this video i cover it manga and anime pretty much that'll be it for today sorry it's very late for me i usually record early in the day but yeah this was a last minute thing and yeah stick around if you like what i what i do and i'll see you when i see you peace